Okay, so part two of my third tutorial of SketchUp uh, using the 600V method is just going to continue on showing uh, you how to um, yeah create these curves and, and make the car nice and curvaceous and attractive. So as you can see with single click we've got that group, we'll double click in the group and we'll just continue doing what we're doing so I'll just click here and continue that along and I'll make it go straight as we did with the last rear fender part and the same sort of thing here following this out and I'll just draw this rectangle in here and let's do something a little bit different I suppose Now I'll take the arc tool and just basically create a shape like this. So it's instead of just doing that that, that normal 45, I just did something a little bit different. So we'll select the whole line again, and we'll zoom right in to get that line there. Zoom back out again, holding shift and clicking on each edge as we've done the last three times clicking on the follow me and having it follow through there now we've got quite a bit of intersection here so uh, we'll double click double click double click double click all holding the shift key just check that everything is uh, intersecting that we want to that we want to select and double click, double click, double click, double click okay that looks pretty good and we'll right click intersect faces with selection and we've got quite a bit of geometry clean up here so I'll just rush through here and do this and this is quite good here because uh, what I'll show you on the corner is that we may have to actually clean up some of the geometry here so if we go uh, Alt V hidden geometry, you can just sort of examine the geometry of how it did intersect, um, and you do kind of want to have a lot more um, faces than less because you know when you render it or or um, color it or that kind of thing, you don't you don't want it too low poly. You want it fairly high high poly, um, so you get some nice curves there. So we'll just turn off the hidden lines again and we'll clean the rear end of the car up so we'll double click double click double click double click again single click double single click double and let's just check that looks pretty good right click erase perfect okay so you don't need to worry too much about these strange looking lines as when you sort of render things and the more the more modifications we do to this model we will end up covering up parts and intersecting parts out and that kind of thing so just as a general shape now that's looking pretty good um, using the 600 V style and we'll click out of the group and um, you can see obviously now that that top part of the roof has this gap here but there's many ways that we can do to fix these things up. We can drop the roof down, we can you know, do all sorts of things, but it's best to just sort of modify each group bit by bit. And then that way, if we press M, we can move this group down to intersect it more. We can scale it to squish the roof. So really using groups and, and things and components are very handy in how you want the, to change the car overall. So I'll select both of these groups now uh, using the shift key and I'll right click make that whole thing a component. Now what I want to do is press M and I'll press plus and I'm just going to move a whole nother copy of that off to the side, press space to come back to select, right click and flip along the red axis. Press M again, select that point and match it up exactly with that point there so that it now becomes a full car. So looking at this car now, it's kind of looking a bit thin and a bit tall. So 
what I'm going to do is just uh, click on both of these. I'll, first of all, I'll double click to go into the component. So we're in this side of the component. We can see that that one is uh, the green color is not editable. And I will uh, select both this group, the top group and the bottom group. And I will press S for scale. And I can sort of fatten that car out a little bit more, make it a bit more uh, sort of mean looking, lower it a tiny little bit. Oh, actually that kind of changed the wheel wells. We won't do that, but what we can do is we can just stretch the car. And even to give that illusion, we can just lower the roof line. So it still gives a nice sort of fat looking coupe style. Um, so yeah, that, that will um, finish that tutorial and in the next tutorial I might go ahead and do quite a bit more, uh, quite a few more modifications to this car and we'll just continue on from there.